Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain the theorem related to undecidable languages. First, I am going to consider a language A T M. This is just a name for a language and it is undecidable. What is A T M? A T M says that, that is this particular language says that says that it is taking a uh, machine, Turing machine M and W as a string. It is taking a Turing machine M and W as a string uh, and uh, the Turing machine and uh, this particular Turing machine actually accepts the, accepts the uh, string W. Okay. And we are going to prove this is undecidable. To prove this is undecidable, First, uh, first we'll uh, check whether first we'll prove whether ATM is recursively enumerable. Okay, what is recursively enumerable? It may or may not halt, uh, halt on the input that uh, uh, may or may not halt for uh, the input whatever you're going to supply for the machine. Okay, so that's why I'm going to construct one Turing machine U, construct one Turing machine U, and for which m comma w is m comma w is the uh, is the input. So, as I told earlier in the uh, in the last uh, video that uh, this is in the form of encoded description form. So, your Turing machine information and the string will be fed to the fed to the uh, Turing machine U will be fed to the Turing machine U. So, this uh, the tape of Turing machine will, will contain this details this details ok and that will be a input to U. Now, we have to simulate M on W. So, this will contain the steering machine U will contain M comma W information. Okay, now we are going to simulate M on W. Okay, that information whatever is provided of M that is used to simulate W. Okay, and if M enters the accepting state, enters the accepting state, U also accepts it. U also accepts it. But there is no clarity about there is no clarity about the rejection. So hence we can say that ATM this particular language is recursively enumerable. Next we will prove ATM is decidable. We have to come to we have to uh, decide or we have to prove ATM is undecidable. Okay. The language is same as I have told earlier for which the this will be the input. Okay. For this particular uh, language string is string is m comma w encoded form of encoded description of Turing machine m and w ok. So, that is why what I will do here is I am going to construct a Turing machine h h and which is going to halt on all inputs that is why I am taking this name. So, this is the decider this h is a decider ok halting decider that is why the name I am going to take here as h. Okay, and this is going to halt on all inputs. On all inputs, it's going to halt. <coughs> Whether the string is uh, a part of the language or not, it is going to halt. Okay, so now, so that I'm going to represent like this. So for this, what is the input? Say m comma w is the input. So m comma w is the input, and your decider uh, h machine. H Turing machine is going to accept, is going to accept halt in the sense two things. It is going to accept if, if M accepts, if M accepts and then it is going to reject if M does not, if M does not accept W, accept W. Okay. Now we will construct one more Turing machine, one more Turing machine because I have why I have taken why I have taken H of W is accepting. My aim is to prove undecidability, prove undecidability. That's why initially, initially I'll going to assume that assume that ATM is decidable. 
and this is one contradiction method that is why I have taken here Turing machine initially in the decidable form which will have exception and uh, accept, uh, accept uh, as well as reject. So, for both the cases it is going to halt ok. So, next I will take one more turn because finally my aim is to prove it is undecidable. This particular language is undecidable ok. So, I am going to take one more Turing machine D, one more Turing machine D ok, this is one Turing machine D and this is going to call the subroutine H, H you know that already it is going to halt. But what is the aim of, aim of D, aim of D is to, is to receive aim of the uh, d is to receive uh, the receive the input m encoded description of n ok and check whether what m does what m does ok when you give input input in this format encoded description of m ok it is going to check what m is going to do what m is going to do when it receives encoded description of m ok that we will see. So, remember h is going to definitely halt, but we are not sure about the d what it is going to do ok. So, d d it is going to accept so the decider Turing machine d. So, it is something like a D here Turing machine D is something uh, like it works like a devil for us because finally it is going to it helps in us helps for us in uh, to prove it is undecidable. So, Turing machine T reads the input M and tells tells it is going to accept if M does not if M does not accept if M does not accept. So, you can see here it is going to accept if m does not accept in this format ok and rejects if m accepts w ok. Now, I am going to I am going to see you know that you know, before that uh, here d is also a Turing machine m is also a Turing machine. Now, in this case I am going to supply for d the say uh, it is uh, that is its information d's information. So, I am going to give a d uh, I am going to give d the input encoded description of d's information right encoded description description of Turing machine d. So, so this uh, d is taking its information its self information right. So, now what happens you just have to replace wherever there is m you have to replace d. So, what you are going to get? So, your so the changes will happen in this manner right changes will happen in this manner you can see here d d accept reject if m does not accept d d accept d accepts if the encoded description of d so this is this in whatever we are going to get after supplying d into d right the encoded description d to d. So, here it is a contradicting behavior we can get. So, it says that d does not accept d, d accepts d it is going to reject. So, this is a totally a contradicting behavior of d. So, hence we can say that the language ATM is undecidable and uh, uh, language ATM is undecidable. So, before I conclude one thing I have to tell uh, in the about the theorem about the theorem in the beginning I proved that ATM is recursively enumerable right and here I used uh, used Turing machine U here I used Turing machine U and that I proved it is recursively enumerable and this U Turing machine is called as universal Turing machine. Why it is universal Turing machine? Because it is 
simulating other Turing machine. It is simulating other Turing machine. Okay. So, the same thing I applied, the same thing I applied for uh, to prove even the undecidability of a language, to prove undecidability of language. You can observe here in case of D Turing, uh, in case of uh, D that I am supplying for here if you see I am supplying the other Turing machine I simulate one more Turing machine using the Turing machine D. So that means you are simulating other Turing machine right here also I am just supplying. So, so whenever you feel that whenever you see that one Turing machine is simulating other Turing machine such a Turing machine is called as called as universal Turing machine ok. So, that is about the undecidability of a language uh, for ATM ok. That is about the undecidability proof, undecidability proof. Now, we will see the one more, uh, one more uh, theorem based on the halting problem of a Turing machine, based on the halting problem of a Turing machine. Now we will see another theorem Hall Turing machine the language is given as Hall Turing machine which is equal to m comma w the Turing machine holds on the Turing machine holds on input uh, input w is undecidable this is a language Hall Turing machine the Turing machine w holds on input w is undecidable. Now we will assume that Hall TM is decidable. Now, how are, we, how are we going to start? We will assume that halt Turing machine is undecidable. <coughs> this, this particular language is decidable, not undecidable when we are going to assume. This is the uh, way to prove it is undecidable. The way to prove undecidability is by initially prove, assuming it as decidable. That is a contradiction way. Okay. So, finally, we are trying to get a contradiction. So, that is why initially I assume that this particular language is decidable and coming to these portions of uh, uh, input is that uh, it is a string encoded uh, string uh, string that is given to a Turing machine M. Okay, if for, a tu if for a Turing machine we are going to give a uh, encoded description of a Turing machine and the string and the string and this particular Turing machine M is going to halt on input W. So, that is why there is definitely a accepting uh, case as well as a uh, rejecting case. Now, M1 be the Turing machine such that we will construct one Turing machine M1, M1 that behave that is the language of T of M1 is equivalent to halt of Turing machine. So, that means this particular T M1 is also is going to halt on M comma W. If I say that uh, M1, M1, okay, I am going to consider one Turing machine M1 such that T of M, M equal to halt of Turing machine. So, language is same as the halting Turing machine that is what I have taken initially. So, you know that this particular Turing machine halts. That means even a Turing machine M1 also is going to halt eventually on the input ok. So, let us consider another M2 that is a Turing machine M2 for this M1 M comma W is input. So, remember TM, TM of M1 that is this uh, Turing machine is going to act on act on M comma W. Uh, this particular Turing machine M1 is going to act on M comma W and M1 whatever string rejected by M1 is also rejected by M2 ok. Both if M, M, W ok this particular string is rejected if it is rejected by M1 then M2 also rejects that. If M has for example if M has accepted W if M has accepted W then then M2 M2 accepts W accepts M comma W otherwise otherwise it M2 rejects M comma W you can see the fifth step if M has accepted W then M2 accepts M comma W otherwise M2 rejects W. So, here what we can say the behavior of T 
Turing machine we can represent in terms of language this that is t of m comma 2 okay t of m comma 2 is nothing but m comma w the Turing machine accepts m comma w the Turing machine accepts m comma w if m has accepted w m2 also accepts w so otherwise m2 rejects w so we can write the language of a Turing machine m2 in this way because m2 holds eventually okay and already we have proved this kind of a language so this kind of this language of a Turing machine is similar to the language of ATM which we have already proved it is undecidable hence we can say that all TM is also undecidable.